we close out the ski season with one last ride on First Chair Friday. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. It's closing weekend at A-Basin, where the dress code is whatever you want. Well, I selected these fine men's cross-country shorts because there's more split than short. And I thought they'd pair nicely with my rainbow socks I was about to donate, and I stole my sister's tie-dye shirt to complete the retro look. Perfectly placed and also perfectly said. Thank you. And Alexa, yourself, you got uh, the bathrobe. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with the bathrobe. Uh, comfort over everything. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> that was Lauren and Alexa up from Parker. Silverthorne local Tracy was out early doing the Summit County Biathlon. Trying to get one more weekend in, a couple more runs, and then uh, I brought my mountain bike here on the back of my Jeep, and I'm going to head out for a ride afterwards. Year-round employee Brooks was parking cars under a blue sky and looking forward to summer. Hopefully a lot of biking, hiking, rafting, uh, just enjoying the weather and the outdoors. Hoping the wildfires don't come through. A basin closes for the season on Sunday with live music tomorrow and Sunday. Summer operations get going later this month. A group of local parents are concerned about the new equity policy at Summit School District, saying it favors indoctrination over education. The group, Summit School District Watch, posted a document to Facebook yesterday, reading, We believe the equity policy is nothing more than a scheme to justify the indoctrination of all SSD students with radical, controversial, social justice, political, and woke ideology. Stay tuned next week as we hear from Summit School District Watch and district representatives as they look to hire a new superintendent for the coming school year. Summit County and Town of Dillon are working with the Forest Service for a workforce housing complex above Dillon Valley on Forest property. And the first piece of the puzzle is a roundabout on U.S. Highway 6. We really can't uh, bring on units without fixing the intersection. The intersection is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a problem there. That was Jason Dietz with the Housing Authority. That roundabout replaces the light at Lake Dillon Drive. It still needs approval from CDOT. The housing complex is several years away. A man charged with robbing a bank in Fraser this week with possible ties to a Frisco robbery this winter once worked as a substitute teacher. Sky High News reports James W. Smith worked for Grandby Elementary School for six months, leaving in January 2020. East Grand School District tells parents they never suspected him of illegal activity. The latest now on coronavirus and the numbers. Colorado reports 527 new cases of COVID this week, up from last week, and 71 new hospitalizations also up. State positivity rate is 2.14%, just barely below the local rate of 2.4%, which is half as high as last week. Nearly 81% of Summit County's partially vaccinated today, 69% fully vaccinated. In sports, the Rockies beat the Rangers yesterday, 11-6, and the Nuggets finished off the Trailblazers 125-115, now moving on to the second round with the Suns. Today, the Rockies open the weekend with the A's at 640. The Avalanche face the Golden Knights at 8. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Baseball lost to Rifle yesterday, 5-2. Today, boys lacrosse plays Eagle Valley in Gypsum. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.